Hey guys, King James here. I've had a lot of requests on how to set up OBS. So this is a quick tutorial on how to get yourself set up on OBS. In this case, it's Streamlabs OBS in about five or 10 minutes. I've already got my camera, my mic, and my capture card connected to my PC. So I'm gonna walk you through how to get all those added to OBS and get yourself ready so you can go live. I'm a small content creator, so consider subscribing to my channel because it really does help small content creators like myself. All right, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so here's OBS. We've got it open and set up, and you've probably already connected your stream so that you're set up to stream to whatever um, platform that you want to stream to. The next thing I recommend you do is run auto-optimize. This will check your PC and make all your settings outputs so that they'll work the best with the speed of the PC that you're using. My PC that I normally stream from is a laptop, so the settings are a little bit lower than what, like say, a really fast desktop would do, but still works pretty good. So my output, uh, I set video rate 6,000, which seems to be really nice, audio I've left, and my base canvas is 1920 by 1080, because that's my screen size, but I output at 720 and 30 frames per second. This seems to just be the best for my laptop because it's not a super fast one. The higher you go with these settings, the more processing power it takes and you may get dropped frames if you crank this up too high. Like my laptop, it won't do 1920 by 1080 and 60 frames a second. So set this as high as you can go. Usually frames per second is more advantageous than the output size. So try and go to 60 here before you go to 1080. Either way, this is the settings that I use. You can use whatever works for you and it'll check it when you do the auto optimize. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I've already set this up a little tiny bit. Um, I went into here and I've picked um, this setting here and I put my scene selector, source selector and audio mixer here because those are the panels that I generally use. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is this is my stream setup. So I'm gonna add my webcam so you guys can see me. So we need a video capture device. We're gonna call it Logi 922X, that's my camera, add source, and there I am, hey. So I've already got that guy there. As you can see, it's not optimized. You can see my ugly background. Um, where I normally stream is on my computer. Uh, where is it? Over here, that, or sorry, my TV, and with that chair. So I usually have it over here, but I'm just doing it on my PC here at home now. So I'm just gonna bring this guy in, leave all these settings the way they are, and there you can see me. So here I am on the screen, and you see you can move it around and you can change the size. So I've got myself up on screen here, which is great. The very next thing I wanna add is we'll add another source. I'm gonna do a video capture device. I'm gonna add a new, we're gonna call it Razer Ripsaw HD. Add source, and there it is. Boom, so you can see that. Now you notice how it went on top of my camera and you can't see me anymore. So where you put things in your sources box dictates their priority. So I want my Logitech camera on top of my Razer Ripsaw so that my camera is literally on top of here. So I'm gonna downscale this. A lot of people stream over on the left-hand side, so I'm gonna put myself there now, which is good. And you can see we've got those. So camera seems to be okay. The Razer's good, I'm gonna go ahead and lock that. Next thing I'm gonna add is I made myself a nice little name overlay, so it's an image. So in Photoshop, create yourself a GIF with a transparent background, and you can add it on top of your cam so people can see your name. If you upload your videos to YouTube and stuff, it's nice to have your name on top. So here's my name overlay I created. There it is. I'm gonna go done. I'm gonna move this here, rescale it so it's not quite so large. We got it set up, seems like a good spot. I'll go ahead and lock that. And of course that needs to be up high. So if I pull it down, it'll disappear. So it needs to be on top because they're just layers in the exact order that you see them here. So I've already got my background in. You can see I've got myself, I got me here, but I'm missing a couple of audio sources. So the next thing I wanna set up is I'm gonna pull in my microphone, which is my blue snowball. So that's going to be a audio input capture. We're gonna call it blue. Snowball, go add source, and there's my blue snowball. Boom, now you can see my blue snowball is added here. You can see my voice showing up. That's how you know on your stream that you're capturing it. So you wanna make sure that you see that here. And the other thing we wanna do is we need to add in the game audio. So we're gonna go plus, we're gonna add another audio input capture. We're gonna add a new one, we're gonna call it Razor Ripsaw Audio. We'll go add source, 
Now, there's two Razer audio sources. There's the audio source from the HDMI, which doesn't have game chat and all the other um, sources in it. So you're gonna to wanna to use the Razer Rips IHD. This is the um, 3.5 millimeter input on the back of, or on the front of the capture card. Hang on, I'm just gonna uh, clear that off my screen. There we go. Um, so this is the one that you wanna pick in order to be able to capture that audio. So we're gonna go done. And you can see now my blue snowball and my Razer audio is there. So in order to show you, I'll get my controller. You see I got Fortnite in the background. It's got my controllers really far away here. I'll just do a quick, uh, there we go, there. And now you can see the audio is showing up on the bottom of the screen from both my microphone and the game. And this will make sure that you're capturing the audio from your, um, from your uh, Xbox. I'll just do something to quiet it off there. So now, now that that emote is over, you can see the audio from the Razer Ripsa gone. So that's how I know I'm capturing it. And if you're getting it from your uh, controller and you're inputting it to the front, that'll capture all your game chat as well. If you watch my other video, you'll know that that's the, um, the process in order to capture your, your game audio. So I've got all of my sources set up here. The one other thing that um, you commonly see on streams is when people subscribe or follow, there's a pop-up that pops up on here. So that's, um, that's stream elements. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and pull in stream elements, which I've already set up, and you can see the uh, widgets are here now. Um, so go to streamelements.com, create an account, link it to your Twitch, and it'll show up here. So an alert box is what shows up for all of your different alerts. So if you get a dono or a bits or a host or a follower, it'll all show up in this box. So I'm gonna go okay. I'm gonna change the size a little bit. I'm gonna move it down and I'm gonna use my keypad just to bump it so that it's even 673. Let's see, 680 and 681, that looks pretty good. And I'll go ahead and lock that. You can lock these guys. Uh, well, we're gonna do some changes to the camera here for a second. So if you wanna test your widgets, now you're not the host, there you can see, Dono, I got a follower. So those all pop up and people will see those on stream now. And again, you wanna have your alert box on top so that it's on top of everything and shown. So a couple of other things. On your camera, you can see here that I'm really far away and that's not really advantageous for when people are watching you because there's too much background in here that you don't really need to see. So I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna go add a filter. So I'm gonna insert a crop filter here. I'm gonna go done. And I'm just gonna crop my video a little bit. So let's try, uh, let's see, left, 150, 100, 150, 100. That's a little close, but that's not bad, right? And it's pretty square. So that'll show me a little better. Maybe if I go 175, 175, back it a little bit, eh, whatever. Okay, set that for whatever works for you based on where you put your camera. And there, now you can see that it's changed it a bit. So I'm gonna rescale this to that size. There, that looks a little better. And I'm gonna lock that now. So there, you can see that we're pretty well already set up with the game in the background. You can see me here, got a nice name overlay, got my alert box up here that you can see when you get uh, a follower. And the only other thing that sometimes people like is they like to be able to hide their screen so that you can't see uh, you can't see the game, or if you just want to talk to people, so you can go and add a new scene here. We'll call this full screen. Okay, we'll go done. Now, if I click this button here, this is studio mode, it'll show you the two. So you can see my stream here, and then full screen has nothing. So I'm gonna go add a source. I'm gonna add a uh, video capture device. I'm just gonna grab my Logitech, add source. We'll scale her a little bigger there. Drag it in the center. There, now. You have me here, oops, on full screen. I'll lock that. And um, and the full screen and the stream. Let's see if I can get that to pop over. Uh, I need to set up a transition uh, right here. There we go. And then I can have there. There, now you can have both at the same time. This, I, I kind of like doing this when I stream that I can you know, see where my camera is and make sure I got it in the right spot and then also have it set up on here. And then you can transition between the two when, uh, when you want to, okay? So that pretty well pulls in everything I need. Now, uh, the only other uh, filter I like is on my snowball. I like to add in a compressor. 
compressors are what stop the audio from spiking really high when you yell. And I tend to yell a lot when uh, I'm on uh, when I'm gaming. So I add this here, and it, it helps keep your, um, your your mic from going way out of whack. So um, play with these and see what settings work best for you. Just those regular settings seem to work really nicely for me, and I've gone ahead and, and added those in. So. You can see here I've got the audio working for my alert box, my snowball, and my razor, and I've muted um, all the other settings coming off of my PC because I don't want those showing up on stream. So this is basically everything you need in order to get yourself ready to set up and stream. And I've been recording for about 10 minutes now, and you can see I've got everything going. I've got my cam, my overlay, my alert box. I'm capturing my game, and I have a full screen uh, video set up so that I can you know, be ready to go live and chat full screen or hide my screen or whatever it is that, that I, that I want to do. The only thing you need to go live is just click go live down here and you can update your title, the game that you're playing. And if you want to connect Twitter and tweet out to Twitter, you can do that right here as well and hit tweet and go live and then you're live. That's all you need. And everybody will see what's on the live side, not on the edit side, just so you know which one you want to look at. So what's in this window here is what everybody will see when you go live. That's it, guys. It's pretty easy to get it set up. There's a lot more settings in OBS that you know can make things a lot more complicated. But this gives you a good idea on how to get yourself set up so that you can stream in about 10 minutes is all it took me to do that. Okay, hope you enjoy this video. Feel free to comment below. I always reply to my comments on my video. So if you put comments, you have questions, hit me up, man. I'll answer anything that you put down there. And if you're watching this video and it has helped, consider subscribing because subscribing really does help small content creators like myself. All right, guys, have a good day. Let me know if you have any comments below, as I said, and we'll see you in the next video. Trying to play it safe. Ish. Oh, man. Yeah, I got guys right here in the water. Knocked them. Where at?